Chapter 45 Dark and Windy Night After Zhu Fangxin had her fill, she went to perform a checkup on Zhu Baishan. Once she made sure that he was okay, she returned to rest with relief. Before leaving, she especially instructed someone to take good care of Zhu Baishan. If anything went wrong, they had to inform her right away. The night was dark and peaceful. It was so quiet that it made people feel uneasy, as if a storm was about to come. It was a dark and windy night, perfect for killing someone. At midnight, when most of the people were in a deep sleep, a group of black-clothed people infiltrated the Duke's estate. They headed towards Zhu Baishan's room accurately, secretly killing the patrolling guards and hiding their corpses. However, when they wanted to enter Zhu Baishan's room, they were discovered by Yi Tian. A fight broke out. At first, the black-clothed people thought that Yi Tian was easy to deal with. After exchanging a few rounds, they realized that the other party was actually an expert. Who sent you? Yi Tian placed the sword horizontally on the neck of a black-clothed man and questioned him about the mastermind. However, the black-clothed man would rather commit suicide than reveal any information. The other black-clothed people risked their lives to charge into the room and used all means to kill Zubation. Even if they had to trade their lives for his, they would not hesitate. Yi Tian had promised Zhu Fangxin that he would protect Zubation, so he could not let Zubation be harmed at all. Seeing a few black-clothed people barge into the room, he immediately flashed in and killed the three black-clothed people in the room with his startling sword. That graceful sword frightened the other black-clothed men. They did not dare to act rashly anymore and faced Yi Tian with their long swords in hand. Who exactly are you? That startling sword just now was not something ordinary people could use. Even people from the Imperial Clan could not use such a sword technique. Who I am is not important. What's important is that with me round, your mission today is destined to be failed. Even if you die, sacrificial soldiers like you will not betray your master, so there is no value in keeping you alive. Yi Tan held the sword that was dripping blood in his hand, his body filled with killing intent. He was emitting a terrifying aura. The men in black had the intention to retreat, but their training made them not dare to retreat. They could not back down even if they died. At this moment, a masked man in a black mystic robe barged in and started fighting with Yi Tian, forcing him to a corner. He ordered, Kill Zhu Baishin. The masked man's martial arts level was extremely high, and he could match Yi Tian. He clung to him and prevented him from saving Zhu Baishin. Once Yi Tian was entangled, the other black-clothed people attacked Zhu Baishin, attempting to hack him to death on the bed. Oh no, Yi Tian was anxious and wanted to rush over to save the duke, but the masked man held him back and refused to let him go. At the critical moment, just as Zhu Baishin was about to be killed by a black-clothed person, Zhu Fangxin appeared out of nowhere and rushed to the bedside, kicking the black-clothed person holding the knife away. How dare you try to kill Grandpa? You'll take your lives. Zhu Fangxin attacked the moment she appeared. She did not ask anything and did not care what the situation was. She would not let go of anyone who approached the bed. After fighting a few rounds, the situation did not seem right. Ah.